Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Always, and welcome back to Sky Factory 3. In the last episode, we started into Batania. Um, so we did a little bit of automation with the uh, Living Wood and Living Rock, which we have a stack of each, so we can mark that off our list of things to do. Uh, as well as we can just go ahead and start clearing up that. Um, so this is working just fine. Um, nothing much to say about this. We'll get back into Batania later. Uh, it's not super important right now to me. Uh, but uh, I have been working off camera just trying to figure out what to do next. So last episode, ooh, we got a blaze rod chicken. That's what I was after. Um, I just want to make sure gold chicken... Uh, uses with the lava chicken gives us blaze rods yes so we can take these guys out and get something else so um, I've been working on just trying to figure out what to do for this episode and I've got an idea um, we were talking last time about getting a auto spawner of some sort well that's a little bit harder than it sounds and than it seems um, so uh, we're gonna try something with that today, but we'll see how it turns out. So let's get a new chicken. Um, so we, oh, wrong one. Um, we're gonna fix that problem, by the way, of not knowing which clipboard is which. But let's see how bad is an emerald chicken. Uh, so emerald chicken uh, is cactus and diamond. All right, we should have both of those. Uh, now, can we use cactus guys for anything else? Just more, uh, let's see, nickel, slime, and XP. So, I don't think we have slime either. Uh, we have nickel chickens. We don't have slime. Okay, so this is the one we'll use in the middle. So, we need clay and we need diamond. Um, diamond chicken was just over here. Walked all the way over here. Um, we have a lot of chickens, by the way. We're, we'll get that kind of taken care of eventually. Uh, and then Mr. Clay Chicken is right here. And we'll put them all in there and let them do their thing. Um, so how long do you have? 23%. So that might take a while. That's fine. Um, kind of anxious to see what that one looks like. But, uh, yeah, auto-spawning is a little bit harder than I thought. There is no, um, let's see, what is the mod? There's Industrial Foregoing, which was also known as uh, Mine Factory Reloaded. Basically the same mod, um, similar enough anyways. So those two mods are not in this pack. So if we want to auto-spawn, we have... What is going on there? Oh, it's full. Uh, that's what's going on. So, this stuff needs to come out. Um, means I need more void upgrades. Or upgrades in general. Yeah, we need void upgrades. Let's go grab that. Let's fix this before I do anything else. Uh, but yeah, there is next to no auto spawning other than Resturb spawners, um, the Draconic Evolution spawners, and... Um, well, that's about it. So, upgrade template. Let's get this. Let's get void upgrades. One, two, three, four. All right. So, we need to void anything that is remotely full. Um, this guy, this guy. Uh, and these two. Should be all we need to do. And that should help at least a little bit. Um, what else can we get rid of? Gold helmets. Don't want those. So this stuff should get going relatively soon. Um, I don't know if the chain stuff is useful. We can make steel grit out of it. Um... Can only really have three more slots, so I don't know what to do. Um, I guess for right now, 
Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade that chest. That could be something to do. Um, so if we make it a gold chest and maybe even a obsidian chest, that would help as well. So chest upgrades, we want uh, gold to diamond. We need some glass. That's easy enough. Uh, and then we can get diamond to obsidian. Uh, and that's really easy as well. Come on, just give me one more. There we go. And so we'll just upgrade this chest all the way so that it'll be a lot better. Um, so... And this will help until we're ready to, to do something else. Um, so that will get kind of taken out. Perfect. Uh, so that is temporary, of course, but uh, definitely helps. Alright, so with that taken care of, we want to do some stuff. Um, so one of the achievements in the achievement book is to make a diamond chest transporter and bring back some blaze spawners. Uh, now, I don't know if I want to do that yet, but um, we certainly can. Uh, I'm just not really prepared for anything like that right now. Um, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to head to the, the uh, nether in a little bit to grab a broken spawner. Now, we, we're going to need a broken spawner, and you'll see why soon enough. Um, but before we do, we're going to need um, an anvil. So let's go ahead and make an anvil. Uh, and on this, we can go ahead and rename these clipboards. So this clipboard is chickens. And if I put it there, we can say chickens. Unfortunately, we need more experience. So let's take two levels out. Let's verify once more, this is chickens. Hopefully this doesn't mess up anything, but it shouldn't. And awesome. And that means this clipboard is, well, uh, seeds. And also nothing messed up. Perfect. So that's going to make this uh, my life a lot easier with all that. Um, now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to head to the nether. Uh, and specifically we're going to go there to get access to... Do we have any boots that we can use? Obsidian boots, why not? Um, we want to go there to get access to blaze spawners. Um, so we're going to go break a blaze spawner. No big deal. Let's go ahead and turn our jetpack on. Now I'm not worried about finding more blaze spawners later. Um, there's like two or three nether fortresses right here. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward to get as much, uh, as many spawners as we want and something else we can try to do um, we can use <laughs> my cat um, if we wanted to we could use our dagger to try to get some uh, mob chunks which we might I don't know yet but let's just go along uh, there should be a blaze spawner right there, right here. Let's grab this one. And of course it does spawn some. And we'll try to get, uh, might as well try to get some mob chunks. Uh, I don't really want to fight blazes if I can help it. I don't really want to fight, um, who's it, uh, Pigment, if we can help that. Because that would not be fun. Um, also, those creepers are really, really bad for our health. Um, but a ghast, on the other hand, would be... Um, please... Please die. 
All right, we didn't get a gas tier. That's a bit of a bummer. Also, is that a normal chicken? That is a normal chicken. All right, come here, Mr. Nitro Creeper. Do we have, yes, we do have ranged weapons. And we can pick up this stuff. No problem. All right. So with no, none of those guys left, let's go ahead and kill the magma cube. And we got a mob chunk. Awesome. Our first... Well, it's a slime chunk. Huh. Um, so that was our first mob chunk ever. Uh, now let's also try killing the chicken. We got a chicken chunk. Awesome. So this is really, really easy. Um, we're going to farm specifically zombies. Uh, so we're going to have to get a zombie. That's not a problem. That's going to be easy enough. Um, but we're going to farm zombies because that's going to be um, one of the more basic mob chunks we can get. As well as being um, just in general a lot easier. So uh, that in itself is also an achievement. So um, let's find that one. Uh, obtain, use a solarium, a solium dagger to obtain a mob chunk. We did that. Awesome. Cool. Uh, so what ones do we have? We have slime and chicken. We can put those away. We can put all of this stuff away. And then we have this broken spawner. Um, so we're going to need some solarium. Let's get like 10 of those. And we're going to need a powered spawner. So what all do we need for this? All right, we're gonna need a zombie head. Um, that is gonna be required for this. With some soul, uh, solarium, some silicon. I believe we just need two of these, right? Yes, and redstone. Uh, so we can use our slice and splice. For that, that's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So we'll come back for that in a moment. Um, we have the electrical steel, which is nice. We're gonna need a machine chassis. Um, that's easy enough. And then we're gonna need two of these vibrant. So vibrant alloy crystals, we're gonna need two of these. And we can also just let that go. It's no big deal there. All right, so most of this stuff is pretty easy. Now the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need some um, quartz, some fused quartz. We get like a stack of that. No, of course not. Um, we do have a lot of nether quartz essence. So how do we use this? Um, recipe. Nope. Quartz. Ah, <laughs> uh, nether quartz like that. All right, so let's get a little bit of this. Let's get like a stack of this stuff. No, let's get like 20 of it. Uh, so that'll take a little bit of time, but that's not that big of a deal. We have plenty of quartz now, so that's really, really good. Um, that was one of the big things that we were running out of. So can we get the powered spawner? We certainly can. Awesome. So with that taken care of, um, we're going to need a soul vial. And this is what's actually going to spawn things. So we have the soul vial. Um, we can use these to make different things. Now this is going to require a lot of power. And it's also going to require a machine that I don't think we have yet. We have a painting machine. We do not have a soul binder. Um, so let's make one of those. So a soul binder is actually pretty cheap. Um, it just requires some mob heads. That's the only thing, really. So there's that. Now we are going to need a lot of power for this thing. So we're going to put it right here. And we're going to put this right here. All right, so broken spawner goes in there. We don't want to spawn blazes. We want to spawn zombies. Uh, now let's turn the light on in there. 
And all right, let's turn the light off. Come around here and turn that off. All right, so there's a bunch of creepers in here. And some other things, but there is a zombie. And we just need to mostly kill the... Oh, come on. You know you want to... There we go. We have a soul vial with a zombie. All right. Now we can turn this back on. Grab our cobblestone. Throw the switch. And honestly, um, I think we're going to... I think we're probably going to just kind of leave this on for now. Um, we have enough mob drops for right now. We're kind of running low on space. So we're not going to do anything with that. All right, so doing this should give us, we need eight levels. Uh, easy enough. And this is going to use a lot of power. Um, but that's okay. Then we just need to combine this on an anvil with this guy uh, once he's done, which is going to take a little bit of time. Uh, do we have any capacitors? Can we make a pretty high level capacitor? We can. Uh, and it's actually pretty quick. Um, cool. So we'll put this octodic, uh, yeah, we'll put this capacitor in there, uh, an octodic capacitor, and it will go even faster. It'll be great. Um, so while we're waiting on that, let's make a little bit of, uh, well, we're going to need a point, I do believe, receives energy. Yes. We're going to want one of these, and we're going to want to make just a little bit of a dark room. Um, we have some redstone lamps. Let's get a lever. Let's get a stick. Uh, we'll make a lever and cobblestone. We'll just use bricks. So this does not have to be too large. Um, if we place it in the center, so it can do one, two, three, four, I think. So four, three, two, one, space. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, let's make sure that everything is well lit still. And we're just going to make a little bit of a room, like so. And since these are only going to be zombies, um, I actually don't know if we even need uh, to do anything with like, uh, I don't even know that, that it has any spawning conditions or anything like that. Um, I guess we'll find out. Let's break these two. All right, cool. So um, we'll get this going. And I'll put a lamp in if I want to. Um, if it doesn't spawn any mobs. And we're just going to stop at this layer because why not? Put our torches around it. And uh, nothing should be able to get out of here. We can. Turn the mob spawner on and off. It'll be great. Uh, so let's just finish building this little thing. Um, now, hopefully before next episode, I will get around to uh, doing some more building. We need to get access to um, more power 
and I want to kind of condense the power into one area and all that fun stuff, uh, which isn't a problem with the flux plugs and points. Uh, it's just a matter of building the platform to house everything, and that's just going to... It's time-consuming, and I don't want to do it, um, which is typically what happens. So let's put these guys around like so. And I think I can go ahead and just put this flux point like so. Um, select the network. So it's activated. Uh, we just need to grab the rest of the stuff. So that's not a problem. I'm assuming that's still opening stuff. I, I really don't have a way to know because I don't know what I'm getting from it. But let's get another, eh, let's get another lever uh, just in case we want to use it. But that used a lot of power. Um, so there is a broken spawner that is a zombie spawner, and we have a soul vial. We'll use that later, probably. Now, all we have to do is combine the powered spawner with the broken spawner, and we get a zombie spawner. It costs 16 levels. So that's not too terrible. And now we have something that will constantly spawn zombies. Um, so let's place this in the middle. Uh, it will get power. Um, and show range. As you can see, the range overlaps with the actual room. And we're going to put active with signal. And then I can just put the block here. And we can just attack him with the dagger to try to get more mob jumps. And there's a zombie one right there. So um, let's grab... How do we want to do this? Um, trap doors. So I guess let's use a trap door. I think that'll be the best way. We don't need to worry about lights at all. Um, and let's do something else kind of silly. Can we... 30 levels gives us a smite 5. Um, yes. That is going to be really good because we're going to mostly use this for killing zombies. Um, so put that in there. Smite 5, knockback 2. Knockback isn't that great, but um, do we have any books? No, of course not. Um, so we want to grab two of these, just in case. Um, so the smite is actually going to be really nice for uh, just killing the zombies. And we can always add capacitors to this guy as well. So this is to prevent um, baby zombies from getting through. Uh, but this should allow us to fairly easily, like we can just open up this one. But I don't think a baby zombie can get through there, just in case. And we just did, did eight hearts of damage. Uh, so I can just stand here and collect zombie chunks or experience chunks, um, which is kind of cool. Now, the only other thing that I'd love, love to do is let's try to get some books and let's try to get looting on this guy. So I don't believe I have um, any sort of looting, but we can make books. What can go on this? Sharpness, uh, sieve efficiency. Hmm. Let's get some lapis. Let's get some books. And let's get some levels. So sharpness three, power three, fortune two. That's not what we want. We want looting. So let's just do an efficiency. Um, we do want that. So let's grab a handful more levels. Um, and that's good. Unbreaking, unbreaking three would actually be nice too. Um, so what we can do is we can just continuously enchant this guy. Unbreaking three would be really nice. 
So we need more paper. So, do we not have any more sugar cane? Um, I have three here. Let's grab one. And we're going to put this in there. And are you going to grow? Or do you need sand? I think it needs sand. So let's go grab some sand. Also, our chicken hatched. Uh, so we can mark that off. That's not sand. That's snad. Um, you can instantly grow sugarcane, by the way, with snad um, by giving it a redstone signal. But that's not something I really care about. Uh, it's not something we need to do, so we're not going to. We're not going to worry about it. Uh, so let's get more sugarcane. I want to get more books so that we can potentially get more stuff going. So that'll make a bunch of sugarcane pretty quickly. Uh, we can grab our chickens and our animal net. So blaze chicken actually looks really cool. I like how it flaps its arms. Um, blaze rod chicken. We got anything else? Diamond chicken, nope. Cactus green. Slime chicken, hey, that's one. Uh, so I believe clay chicken can go away. And we can start hatching the slime chicken. Uh, so once we have a little bit of paper, uh, we can go ahead and make more books. And more books means more enchanting. Um, I just want to try to get a looting. Um, higher looting is always better, of course, but just any looting would be nice. Respiration efficiency, smite. Uh, let's go with the efficiency. Fire protection power, efficiency power. Efficiency three sharpness. We're not really having much luck with this stuff. So um, something else we can do. Uh, I'm going to put this in here because we're going to need that for other things. Um, so something else we can do is we can... How hard would it be to make a disenchanter? Um, draconic evolution has a really good disenchanter. Uh, it requires a draconic core, which I think we can do. Um, are not. We don't have any draconium. Uh, legendary loot bags can give us draconium. Otherwise, we need to get draconium dust, which comes from compressed inner or inner gravel. Uh, at a fairly rare chance. Uh, now while we could make a bunch of ender gravel, uh, that's not going to be the best way to handle things. So we'll hold off on that. So we have seeds, we need experience, and zombie next. And zombie seeds. Now the experience seeds are actually really good because we can use that to get bottles of enchanting, which will give us more levels. Um, so in order to get either of these, we just need a bunch of chunks. Um, now we can craft them from any tier mob tier one chunk, uh, which I don't think we can do anything with the experience chunks regarding that. Um, but this is going slow. Uh, we could probably speed this up. Hey, that's a compressed zombie. That is something nice. So that is nine more zombies very quickly, very easily. So with looting, we would get a lot more stuff. Including more mob chunks. We have seven zombie chunks now. Um, that's kind of the point. So... You know what? Um, there is another way to get disenchanting. Um, there is this lens of dis uh, disenchanting. Uh, transfer a single enchantment um, 
to either a book or an already enchanted book. Two items in front of the lasers, but they have to be in one block space. Topmost enchantment is removed. Uh, so this is a lot better, but we need draconium for it. Um, and that means we need we need more loot bags. Uh, so let's turn this on. And go ahead and do that. Why not? We'll get rid of the gold uh, boots as well. So there's a lot of things in here that we're going to have to deal with. Um, we're going to have a lot of bat wings. That's kind of annoying. Uh, now here's a question. Do we have anything that in here that would have looting on it? No, they're all just bows and armor. So that's a bummer. So we're going to need to get just more books, I guess. Uh, which should not be too bad of a deal. Um, so we can store all that in there. I really want looting. Also, this should be almost done, right? Nope, halfway done. Alright, so I guess let's go ahead and grab the sugar canes. We have well over a stack. Uh, we can make more paper, we can make more books. Um, to get leather is not a problem. And so there is some more paper. Let's grab some more lapis. And I just want to enchant more stuff. Silk touch. Um, that would be really nice. So let's get... No, not that many. So let's get silk touch. Projection. Uh, let's do respiration. Why not? Efficiency. Uh, a lot of these books are just useless. And we'll make just a bunch of more books. Sharpness 3. Uh, let's just get a sharpness 1. Efficiency 2, why not? Uh, magnetic, that sounds cool. Uh, don't know what it's going to do, but it's there. Power 3. Power 2. Um, Fortune Reaper 1. That's not bad. Efficiency 3. Just do some level 1s for now. Um, Unbreaking. Sharpness 4. I will do that. So let's get more levels. So that is good. Fortune. Two, sure, why not? Efficiency four and magnetic. There's another efficiency, but I want the soul bound. Soul bound is much nicer. So let's get rid of all these books because we don't really care about them. Um, they're nice enchantments, but right now we don't really need them. Luck of the sea. Just do efficiency. Um, sharpness, why not? Smite 4, Efficiency, Protection 3, alright, so I'm almost out of books, and we'll do this Efficiency 4, um, so let's get, never mind, we won't, alright, so let's store all the levels, and... I guess we'll just have to wait on getting anything better. Um, do we have any swords? We do have some gold swords. Let's enchant some gold swords. Uh, because gold swords typically are better than anything else when it comes to enchantments. Not back, fire aspect, unbreaking. Sharpness too. So not bad. Um, but what we can do now is we can go ahead and make the zombie seeds. So zombie seeds are going to require tier 1 crafting. So there's that. 
and there's the zombie seed. So that is that one off the list. And experience seeds, we need more stuff. But these zombie chunks, what we can do with them is we can go ahead and smelt them up because we don't care about them anymore. And that will give us tier 1 crafting um, mob chunks, which we can then use later to make other stuff. So uh, let's see if we can't get just a little bit more stuff. And we'll let a bunch of zombies spawn. Uh, shouldn't be a problem. And we just gotta wait for more loot bags. This isn't full or anything, is it? No, nope, but there is. There's some loot bags that just kind of fly off. I don't know why. Uh, it just happens. Uh, anyways, bat wings. Can we use this for anything good? Not really. Um, we're gonna trash those for now. Um, I'm gonna keep this stacked. Uh, just because, but we're going to trash the rest of them because there's not really much use for them. Alright, so there's a bunch of zombies over here. We attack one, they all start running. And I want to look at the experience drops because this is what's more important for us right now. We have three, we just need one more, so um, we'll wait for that. Um, and I don't know how often this is actually doing anything, so we might want to just sit and watch it a little bit too. Um, we'll see. Get their attention. And should not be a problem to kill them all pretty quickly. Um, this dagger is now pretty strong. Let's see, is anything happening yet? No. Of course not. Um, some gold pants. Okay, so anything else that we see? Not really. Pop up here. I don't know why um, loot bags just tend to, to go wherever. But they do, and it happens. So, um, I just want to make the experience, which I don't know if that's a zombie or if that's an experience one. Uh, but yeah, if we can get looting on this guy, it'd be really nice. That was all zombie stuff. All right, keep that going. Uh, let's grab a capacitor or two. Uh, let's grab another octodic capacitor. And this will make things go a lot faster. Um, shouldn't be too much of a problem. But uh, the Disenchanter is something we're going to want relatively soon, I think. Uh, it's going to be nice to have anyways. And we can go ahead and cook these up. And with the zombie seeds, um, there's not really much we can do with it. Zombie essence, we can get rotten flesh. Uh, not particularly useful, but it is something we're going to do. Because, well, we're going to get all the seeds. Uh, it's kind of the idea. So here's the question. Is this doing anything yet? No, it is It is compacting them, I think. Uh, so there is a chance that we'll have some draconium soon. But uh, I'm going to need to really make sure that... Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to really need to make sure that there is plenty of, um, that there is plenty of, uh, void upgrades over here and kind of fill out the rest of the, the thing so that we don't have the problem of running out of room. So I'm sure here soon we'll get some more stuff. We have a Soren bag. Uh, those, I don't remember what they always have. I know they like to have chests in them, um, but other than that, I don't know. What do you have? Oh, you have a loot bag. Hey, there we go. There is our mob chunks. So, um, we'll go ahead and put that in there. And it opened it. What it put in, I don't know. 
But we're gonna we're bound to get more uh, experience chunks. That's not that big of a deal. We'll kind of deal with them as we get them. Um, do I still have all my levels, or is this like what I've gotten from? Okay, it was still at all my levels. All right, so zombie chunks. We can go ahead and smelt these up. Anytime we get them, we'll just smelt them up, and we'll use them later. Uh, but now we need a tier four crafting. So one of these guys and essence we're going to need four of these uh, four of these and I'll take just a second but it shouldn't be a problem and then we're going to need Let's just go with 10 of these. So I made a bunch of Supremium as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and make all the Supremium ingots that we need. So there's that. Um, so we're getting really, really close to having uh, Supremium armor, which is really, really powerful and would be really nice to have. Um, but there's the Tier 4 Crafting Seed. And we just need to wait for... The Supremium, and we'll have that. So that'll be another page done. And we'll just kind of continue with um, getting more and more as we go. In fact, let's go ahead and skip a little bit of this and do this. There's the experience seeds. So we have those. Um, so now we're going to have to make pig, uh, all the, the animals, um, which should not be a problem. Uh, I'm going to put these guys in here to be processed. And we're going to take all of this stuff down with us. Um, I'm going to grow a little bit more sugar cane, I think. But then we'll call it a day on that. And I'll get all the stuff I want. Um, but let's go ahead and look at making upgrading the intermediate cores. So in order to do that, we, we're going to need the armor core. So let's get rid of all this. And Supremium Armor Core, we're going to need, well, uh, su Superium. Uh, this is Supremium Superium. It's hard to, hard to say. Uh, anyways, um, we're going to need more of this. Get like 20 of that. Um, and everything else we should have. So it's just a matter of getting uh, the last bit. And then we're going to need a bunch of Wither Skeleton Skulls and Nether Stars. Um, that's going to be the problem. So there's one. And we need more Emeralds. I think we do. Uh, luckily, we are getting some Emeralds. But it will take a while. So there we go. There is all the armor cores for the Superium. Uh, so we just need to get four Nether Stars and a bunch of Wither Skeleton Skulls. Now, um, Wither Skeleton Skulls we can get from Essence or Loot Bags. Uh, loot Bags are probably going to be the best way. Um, but once we get Wither Skeleton Chunks, we can make if we have... Wither Skulls. So we're going to need to get some Wither Skulls. So having a... Um, uh, what's it called? Having a thing that does a thing. Um, a looting sword would be really, really nice regardless. So... Um, do we have... We have five Wither Skulls currently. Um, so that is... Well, actually getting close to what we need um we just need to have tier 5 mob chunk which is not too bad so i will tell you guys what let's go ahead and end the episode off here uh next time we are going to honestly i don't know um we'll figure something out but i'm going to probably work on getting more chicken stuff done more uh seed stuff done and we'll go from there so the slime chicken dodging me 
So Slime Chicken goes in there. Um, if I get around to it, we'll build out um, platform and start getting more power stuff going. Um, otherwise, I, like I said, I don't know. We'll find something to do. So Slime Chicken, you're done. The diamond, but nothing else yet. So um, I am going to spend some time. I'm going to kind of work on all of this stuff. Getting uh, the experience chunks, I think, would be really good. And um, the experience essence, rather. Uh, so I'm just going to let that run fill up. I'm not even going to worry about it. But we'll figure something else out for next episode and go from there. Uh, I would like to work towards this armor, um, but we're definitely going to need more uh, essence. So with that, can we make two stacks? No. Can we make almost a stack? Yes. And that's most of what we have. So I just kind of need to let things run. So we'll figure something else out to do next time and go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.